Hi, I am Valder Beebe. I am the host and the visionary of That Celebrity Interview. Good morning, Larry Lynch. How are you today? I'm doing great, thank you. How about yourself? I'm having a great day. I want my audience to know that Larry Lynch, he's the Senior Vice President of Science and Industry for the National Restaurant Association. And he's talking with me a day, today about taking precautions for health and safety when it comes to dining out. Okay, Larry, we got some things going on on our planet, and here in America, people are still dining out, I'm sure. So let's try to help them be a little bit safe, more safe. So what does the C CDC say about dining out? So it, when it comes to dining out, what the CDC is really giving our restaurant tours uh, instructions above and beyond what we would typically do with the training that we provide through our service aid program. And so uh, a lot of this is enhanced sanitation. Uh, EPA recently came out with a list of sanitizers that they know are effective against the COVID-19 virus. And obviously, rather than just wiping off a tabletop with a wet rag, we're suggesting and, and pushing restaurants to make sure they're using the sanitizers, not just on tabletops, but on chairs and menus and, and other items that diners might come in contact with. Part of what we're hearing now, too, is that uh, more and more restaurants that are still open are practicing uh, that little bit of social distancing, and some are cutting capacity by as much as 50% so that diners can feel comfortable knowing that in that five to six foot radius that the CDC describes as at risk um, won't be a problem for them. Of course, you know, we certainly hope that diners who are coughing and sneezing are taking more uh, at-home health care precautions, but again, we're just making sure that dining experience is a good one. And then finally, in places that find themselves in a situation where uh, they've had to close, uh, we're finding pretty much everywhere people have options for either delivery or takeout. And in those cases, uh, we're seeing a great partnership between the delivery companies and many of our restaurants uh, in terms of ensuring that the food that's prepared safely is then also delivered to the home safely. Uh, and it's also important to note, too, that one of the things that we're still understanding from CDC is that there's no transmission risk in this disease uh, coming off of the prepared foods. So, you know, we're just focused on making sure that it's a safe dining experience. And how, can, how, how can you uh, assure yourself that, you know, uh, you go to the Better Business Bureau to find out if it's a good business. How do we find out if it's a safe dining experience? Great, great question. I think there's two things. In the current environment, I think one of the first things I would do as a consumer is talk to the restaurant manager. They're going to be up to date on what they're doing with their training, with their certifications, what they're doing in terms of following uh, the CDC guidelines that we're sharing with them. But also keep in mind that the restaurant industry is probably the most regulated industries that are out there. And so while you might look to the Better Business Bureau in terms of a rating for uh, uh, a local business that's not in this industry, you can look to the public health department uh, for ratings on how restaurants perform. So it's been a partnership uh, between the public health uh, environment and with our members, but it's also a case where there's an element of accountability there. So, you know, people dining out, they're coming into an industry that for years uh, understands the importance of regulation and uh, obviously has some rules to play by and they play by them. Delivery, uh, how people are some people are quarantined in their home. I'm sure there are. I don't know any. So how do you handle that? You know, you got to pay and all of that kind of stuff. I guess we're going to prepay. How do, how do we make that experience safe? So I, I think there's two parts to that. And, and I think when it comes to, you know, the, the business side, but I know I'm hearing or at least seeing some anecdotal evidence that the delivery companies are partnering with restaurants to kind of soften that blow, knowing that people uh, who are quarantined and are, who, who are deciding to stay at home uh, have the dining option. But I think the other piece is, again, recognizing that the food is prepared safely and that it's packaged safely, that it's sealed properly, so that in essence what you have is a contactless uh, delivery from the restaurant uh, ultimately to the consumer. Yeah, and I'm worried about more of the deliverer than I'm talking about the person that's quarantined at home. They don't know that this person's in quarantine or this person is coughing or sneezing. How are those people being kept safe? Well, absolutely, and I think that's where the, the delivery system has got to be able to work closely with the consumer. So, we're, again, I'm seeing where the restaurants are working on uh, a, a tighter seal on packaging, so when it leaves the restaurant, um, it is tightly sealed. Uh, when it arrives at the doorstep, of uh, the, the consumer, that the consumer can get it without necessarily having to have contact with the driver. So I, I think everyone's looking at it. Of course, the, we're advising everybody to make sure that any surface is cleaned and sanitized, and that includes anything going out the door of the restaurant. 
What, tell me about the Serve Safe program. Pro, program. Be happy to. I mean, it, Serve Safe has been around for over 30 years, and it provides in-depth training for restaurant tours, both back of the house and front of the house. And so, if I say back of the house, it's looking at anything from cooking temperatures to um, reducing any risk for cross-contamination of foods to both back of the house and front of the house with sanitation, which we're paying so much attention to now with COVID-19 as well as personal hygiene and that constant refrain that we're hearing about wash your hands, wash your hands, wash your hands. And then again, tied back to the regulatory piece of this, we're also seeing how we have uh, requirements for certification. So uh, the restaurant managers not only go through the training, but they take a separate independent exam to make sure that they're demonstrating that knowledge of food safety. So in a highly regulated industry, there's a lot of focus on making sure the dining experience for consumers uh, has always been one that's good and safe, and that's going to continue going into the future. As we wrap up, there are many, many options for people to eat many, many places. Where can my audience go online and get information so they can feel comfortable saying, yeah, that's the place I want to have my food delivered from, or that's the place I want to eat? So I would start with our website. Uh, it's the National Restaurant Association's restaurant.org. Restaurant.org. Start there. We're keeping information up to date for our members as well as our consumers. So it's the best place people can go to start. Larry Lynch, thank you so much for helping be a calm voice in a very tur turbulent time. I really appreciate it. My pleasure. Thank you very much. Hi, I'm Valder Beebe. I host the Valder Beebe Show, broadcast on radio and television. And this is My Phone Pouch. My Phone Pouch is a great invention. It allows me to go hands-free, pocket-free, purse-free, even belt-free. Head on over to MyPhonePouch.com. Hi, I'm Valder Beebe, host of The Valder Beebe Show. I have used Credit Help USA, the credit restoration company that's bonded and state certified. When you become a client of Credit Help USA, you become eligible for a set of stainless steel cookware from Credit Help USA and The Valder Beebe Show. Get your credit straight today. Visit CreditHelpTX.com Click on the Valder BB Show icon and get started living life divinely. <music>